have extra opportunity to show the greatest player of our game uh, on the offensive end. And here he is right now, Lyle Thompson shooting wide to the right, backed up by the Great Danes. Thompson with 51 goals on the season, 65 assists, leads the nation with 116 points. Flag is thrown, early flag here. And a penalty coming up on Notre Dame as Thompson works his way in. Being checked by Matt Landis. And the shot sails from Matt Garcia. This Landis, you'll see on ball, staying on Thompson's hands. I'm not sure. I was kind of wondering. I know he confident early on by taking low angle shots. Thompson and Landis again, that matchup. Thompson. And that's what doesn't happen often, guys, is the ability for defenders to knock the ball out of his stick. And Notre Dame's going to be aggressive on him. I think Coach Corrigan knows that if you stay back and you play scared against Lyle Thompson, he'll pick you apart. They're going to be aggressive behind goal line extended. The defense by Landis, and the feed up top, and it's a goal for Connor. 61 goals. That is absurd to begin with, but as a freshman, that is remarkable. You'll see Epple gets caught in no man's land. So as Matt referenced, either go or don't go. You'll see Epple kind of get caught right in between fields. Dates. An attack unit with three individuals who scored over 50 goals is incredible. It's unheard of. It's why they're the most fun team to watch in college across. Thompson with 222 career. Let's take another look at that left side of your screen. The, he, the key here is Corgan needs to keep coming around the goal by shooting it so early right around goal line extended. That's an easy save for Reardon who's just holding pipe. Young players out there, you've got to take that extra step to glory. Thompson just continues to stay with it. And it's been pretty good defensive pressure today, especially by Matt Landis right there who's got the job of guarding one of lacrosse's all-time greats. Notre Dame fans appreciating the effort, but it's going to draw a flag, and Thompson shoots and scores. Here, his hands are tied up. It does not matter. He knows he's going to get to the position of the field he wants and get the goal to put Albany up 2-1 here early in the first quarter. Down Albany. Parkovac. And here comes Albany quickly, Adam Osika, and finding Lyle Thompson. They've and got again, trailers. against Landis, he gets by him. Oh, what a little goose play there. That was Edwin Glenn. You always need to be on the same page as your teammate. Albany wasting no time. Quickly, here they come. And Lyle Thompson now has Edwin Glazner on him. They'll switch it back up to Landis. Two need to get the last shot and build some momentum going into the second quarter. It was a nice play by Tim Cox for Albany. And now here's Thompson. Fifteen seconds left, first quarter. Lyle Thompson against Landis. Thompson dishes to the top, Fields. Four seconds left, Fields. Can't get a look at it, it's intercepted by Perkovic, and that's going to take us to the end of the first. Those are huge. Well, especially in a game like this, too, as well. Playoff game, Reardon has been special. Thompson. And one of the few times that you'll see a pass from Lyle Thompson that really Here comes Albany. And just what you're talking about, Ryan, quickly transitioned. And it was Lyle Thompson who shot, just misses. Ryan, that's actually talking about a weakness for Lyle Thompson. <laughs> I don't, how dare he? <laughs> and I, did, I said very good, not great. Sure, sure. <laughs> Watch him can the next one. It's a nice little goose there by Fields to keep this possession alive. And Maloney there. Now Thompson, look out. 
Love this matchup today with Lyle Thompson against Matt Landis of Notre Dame. The ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Thompson up top and wide open, firing his fields, but saved. By yeah, they haven't had the ball much, and when they have, Notre Dame has played a swarming style defense, just deciding we are going to come at Thompson and make him get rid of it. We trust Landis individually, but here you'll see time and time again, there is someone to help. So they are trusting the system, and the system thus far is working. You know, the second quarter, Notre Dame has nine shots. All right, gentlemen, let's see how the delay affects these teams. We are now underway, finally, in the remainder of this first half in this late second quarter, 535 and ticking. The ball in the stick of Lyle Thompson for Albany. And we've seen this matchup a lot so far today with Thompson and Matt Landis as this shot sails a little wide for Oaks. We'll check it, that was Garziano. And something to keep an eye on, it certainly feels colder than it did prior to that rain delay, so that's not a good combination with a lot of time off with the weather dropping like that. So these players better have done a good job stretching. Fields nowhere to go. John Sexton guarding him for Notre Dame. Thompson, this is Oaks. Back to Lyle, could hang on to it. Call the hold on Notre Dame. A little bit of a ticky-tack push there. I thought Landis did a great job, individual effort, and then he actually left Thompson to double-team the ball and then recover back. That takes a lot of courage to leave him. Not a lot of defensemen would do that. Thompson already has a goal and an assist so far in this game for Albany, looking to tie things up at four. He feeds it in front, and it was an Albany retains possession. Thompson. Thompson up top for Fields. He shoots and scores. Ball and get yourself open. You'll see Fields is constantly finding the soft spot away from the ball. And with a distributor with the vision such as Thompson, this is all you need is just find that lane so that he can identify. Thompson. Thompson works it in on Landis. Gets free, and then he got a stick check from behind. Down. And it's Albany ball. No way. And, and Ryan, here's something that I'm thinking for Albany. In this game, I'd like to see them maybe initiate initially with another Dodger. Get the ball to Lyle, not off a dead ball where Notre Dame can get focused. Create some movement, then get him the ball so he can pick apart the defense from a Down. And it's Albany ball. No way. And, and Ryan, here's something that I'm thinking for Albany. In this game, I'd like to see them maybe initiate initially with another Dodger. Get the ball to Lyle, not off a dead ball where Notre Dame can get focused. Create some movement, then get him the ball so he can pick apart the defense from a passing perspective, but also have a leg up dodging as well. The only issue with that is I don't know if that's who they are. You know, they got to the quarterfinals playing this style, and certainly they have midfielder Dodgers, but Lyle being one of the main initiators, that's how, that's what the horse you, you got here. You know, ride the horse that you came on. Lyle has one goal off of that from behind the cage. For the most part, Landis has done a really nice job on it. Landis is the perfect matchup. I, well, I say that perfect matchup. There is no perfect matchup for him, but he's very sound fundamentally. He doesn't play aggressive. He creates pressure on your hand, so he's a tough matchup for Lyle Thompson. Thompson has two assists from feeding from behind the cage. See, now I think it's a great time. They can get the ball out. Thompson now for him to attack. There he is. Thompson runs into a double team. Still has it. So strong. And feeds it into the middle. And it's intercepted by Apple. Yano transition. Has the attack up front with Thompson. And he shoots it wide right. Backed up by Fields. Thompson's behind the net, he has it. Oh 
Thompson again going to work on Landis, feeds it up top again, fields, fields, shoots and scores! How about and that's all the space he needs for Thompson to throw the pass right through, catch, and finish. Thompson with three assists, Fields with four goals. Back to Denver after this. This is McNally, Kevin McNally for Albany. Looking to get within one. Lyle Thompson, here comes a slide. That time from Edward Glazner. And he tried to go right back up the fields, and it's kept in. It's plays like that, they're gonna get Albany back in this game. Yes, they threw the ball towards the midline, but they didn't let it go over. And then Fields, the freshman, comes up with a huge ground ball. That's a new rule this year in college across. If you pass it back. Sims not settling for a near Jason pass. He actually pressed the issue up the field. And what that does is, yes, it creates offensive opportunities, but it prevents Notre Dame from running into that deep ride, which they've been struggling with all day. 42 seconds left in the third, Albany. Looking for a little payback against Notre Dame, who they lost to in overtime last year in the quarterfinals. They try to advance to championship weekend for the first time in their history. Thompson. They lead it 9-8. Yeah, Thompson holding for the final shot, showing some discipline here, letting the clock run down, ensuring that they will have the final shot. And they did this earlier in the game. I'd like to see him go a little bit sooner because he is so good with a ball in his stick. Now it kind of limits his opportunities and what he can do. Lyle Thompson gets crushed, no call. And it's taken away, Garrett Apple Shot percentage in this second half. It's been outstanding, and here is Lyle Thompson. Uh, we are back to action with 12 minutes to go. Thompson again is checked by Landis. You can see number 52, Apple, just right in the middle of the field, kind of ready to slide if need be. Thompson still has it also. Edwin plays there, comes over, here's the shot from Oaks and kicked aside by Shane Doss. Albany is really fortunate not to lose that possession. Thompson and his pass up to the top for Fields. Too strong and take it away, Notre Dame. We've got a game of runs here. Notre Dame had a 4-0 run early on. Albany countered with five of their own and now Notre Dame has scored three straight. Look at this triple team on Lyle Thompson. He still has it time but there's still plenty of time and so for them the issue has become that they're they're turning the ball over their last three possessions they've thrown it away carelessly they need to be very cautious they have 17 turnovers today that's unlike them they're usually very dynamic offensively and that's why their point production is down a bit so they need to kind of regain what they're good at play good offense don't hold the ball too long take timely cuts shoot the ball efficiently Albany sideline and fans want a slash doesn't get called Thompson gets free Launches it to the right of the cage. And Bertrams. And they're just going to go right back. They almost turn it back over as Fields has it. Fields is so slick with his stick. You know, if there was some creativity, point for creativity on a ground ball, he would have gotten some there. And this is right about the time where Notre Dame kind of went on their run last year, guys, as they were down five goals in this game. In the rematch of the quarterfinals last year, they were down 12 to 7. And now Albany has to do the same type of thing if they want to come back and win it. Thompson to the feet in front, and a shot from Adam Osika as the flag is down. Land is here again. They were letting him play. They got away with the brush. They're going to call the hold right there. In the this fourth quarter, we played over 10 minutes. It's 7 to nothing in terms of shots on goal in favor of Notre Dame, and they've scored on six of them. Lyle Thompson, triple team. Not the day that he was hoping to have here this afternoon. And Notre Dame's defense. It's really important too is they're clamping down on that slide. So they're sliding, they're keeping two men on him, making it very hard for him to even get rid of the pass. Another double team by Apple there. And Thompson trying to go back and get it, but instead, this he has. He's come up with some big saves in some key moments. He's had 10 saves today. 
Lyle Thompson, 10 shots, just one goal. This one deflected on its way in. Matt Landis today. Talk about guys you have to credit. Wow. He's been the best player on the field. Good to go. Notre Dame sensing it. Thompson scoops it up. Dishes it. Shot from Fields. And it was Matt Landis that had the job of guarding him. He was absolutely phenomenal today. Creating turnovers. Lyle Thompson had at least six turnovers on the afternoon. One goal on 10 shots. Landis won the individual matchup, but Notre Dame also as a team slid at the right times. They made his life very difficult. Just gets one more to get to 400, right? right? I mean, <laughs> wouldn't it be just something special if he can get, you know, hard to come back and win this game, but just to get that 400 mark would be absolutely incredible. I'm not quite sure this is gonna leave his stick right here. We'll see. 35 seconds left. Well, he has to, he gets in the front for Fields and he's got it. Connor Fields. Will not be moving on. It's a four goal lead for the Irish, less than 30 seconds to play. And just look at that feet. I mean, we know he wasn't enough today, but backing up, drops his stick, feeds Fields. A